cool and easy chord progressions. Here we go. An E major, and my index finger is up, right? E major. What that is, is I'm playing the E major, and I'm just moving this entire shape over or down one, uh, one set of frets. So it goes, let me try to strum this. Back up two, down two, and back home to E. And that has a nice, you can do some nice Latin things with that or throw that in. You can do the same thing in the key of A, right? Here's your A major chord. Take it up one set of frets. That's like a B flat. Here's a sort of C. So that'll help. Not so tricky, but it sounds good. Here's something really pretty, a nice, airy, fresh sound. Key of E, right? Same shape, up six frets. That's like an A. Here's E, A, B, A, E. What I'm doing? is I'm keeping a, here's, here's your E home bass chord, taking it up six frets, one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. And then up another two, down two, and back home to E major, right there. Something else that sounds pretty is this chord progression. Um, sorry, my guitar is, uh, like I said, it's old and I'm holding it funny. This, is, this takes two shapes, the shape of the A major in regular form and the shape of an A minor on the third fret. So it switches from A major shape to this A minor shape, up two frets, down two frets, and back home to A. I'll show you what it sounds like. Here we go. So that's pretty. Two more um, chords that they're interesting because they will pull kids' attention. Is uh, instead of you know your basic one, four, or five, you, you can go one. It's a C major chord or C major seven to an F minor seven over D. It has this effect. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. It's, it's very pulling. It's got an emotional quality to it, and all it is is here's a C major seven. Here it is. Right, those first three strings on the first fret. Another key to do that in is A major. Here's A major to a D minor sixth. Up above the world so high, like a diamond. Sky. And that's simply I'm playing D minor and then I'm picking up this ring finger. There it is. Last thing I want to show you is um, kind of like an old time rock and bass line or guitar line, but uh, it goes with Go Jenny, go, go, go. Go Jenny, go, go, go. What I'm doing is I'm really thinking of only playing two strings at a time. It's an A chord and a D chord and an E chord because I'm in the key of A, right? So um, I'm focusing on the E string and this uh, D string, those two, and I go like this. So that my pinky, and this is like a kind of a, you know a short hand of an A chord. So my pinky is is uh, going on to the fourth fret, and then naturally back down to that second fret. Right, and then the same thing, kind of a half. Actually, I'm playing sort of a half of a D chord, right? Goes and. on the E string. So 
so that comes in handy uh, with a whole bunch of songs. It's not so hard. You practice it a little bit. It's the same thing, same shape on three different locations in the guitar, and it gets you by pretty far. So those are some of the things I've thought of so far to pass on to you. If you have any questions or anything you want to ask or anything you'd like to add, please comment and share this video with all of your friends and check out my website, musictherapytunes.com. Have a great day.